In this video, we will go over the nomenclature of acids. So acids are substances that donate protons. So when H uh, as an ion is H+, plus, uh, we call that H plus a proton, and acids can freely give away that H plus protons. It can actually give away, some acids can give away more than one proton. We call that diprotic. If it can give away two protons, triprotic. If it can give away three protons, so on and so forth. So the naming of these can be somewhat uh, ambiguous. So as an example, let's take a look at the corresponding anions or the counter ions to these acids. So all of these shown here are the halogens. So if you remember from um, the periodic table, halogens are minus one and they have a specific name. So this would be the chloride ion. But when it takes a proton, remember the switches, the, the charges switch, switch your roof for ionic compounds. When this takes up the proton, uh, the formula is HCl and it takes the name hydrochloric acid, HCl. Similarly for the other halogens, HF, which when this takes the proton H+, it becomes hydrofluoric acid. I- is hydroiodic acid. HBr, the other halogen, is hydrobromic acid. So I see ic, the ending, and then hydro when we're dealing with the halogens. How about these types of polyatomic ions that we made flashcards of and are in tables in our textbook? Uh, so we know that NO3- is the nitrate ion. Uh, it takes an H plus proton. Uh, Switcheroo tells us that it's going to be HNO3, the formula. This becomes a nitric acid. Okay, so again, when you're doing a polyatomic anion, such as nitrate, sulfate becomes sulfuric acid, carbonate becomes carbonic acid, and then phosphate becomes phosphoric acid. So the counter ion is eight, nitrate, sulfate, carbonate, phosphate. The ending becomes ic. Okay. Right. The other type of anions uh, that have uh, less oxygens, they have ite, so nitrite, uh, sulfite, and phosphite. What happens when this picks up an H+, plus? again, switching, this is HNO2, this becomes nitrous. Okay. So the idea here, the rule is ite becomes is. So this is sulfurous acid. This should be down as a subscript. Sulfurous acid for the counter to sulfite. So this would be the conjugate. The acid would be sulfurous. Phosphite is the name of this anion. When it picks up the protons, remember switcheroo, this becomes phosphorous acid. So phosphite becomes phosphorous. Notice that this can donate up to three protons when you do the switch, switcheroo of the uh, charges. This can uh, donate up to two protons. Oxo acids are a little bit more complicated because not only do they have the halogen, but they have an oxygen attached to it. These are covalent compounds that pick up a charge. So this one would have a minus one charge. In fact, all of these have a minus one charge. Uh, the naming is uh, like this. So here I'm going to pick as an example chlorine, but you can use bromine, iodine, and fluorine. So ClO- is the hypochlorite ion, hypochlorite. So it becomes is. Uh, when this picks up the proton, it becomes hypochlorous acid. ClO2- is the chlorite ion picks up a proton, it becomes chlorous because it becomes us, O-U-S. Chlorate, ClO3 minus, becomes chloric because eight gets transferred to ic when this picks up the proton. And then perchlorate, now this is the molecule that has the maximum number of oxygens. Uh, ClO4 minus is the perchlorate ion, it picks up a proton, it becomes perchloric acid, perchloric. These are covalent compounds that sort of pick up a charge. Uh, we can replace this chlorine with a bromine. So if we do that, it becomes hypobromous acid, bromous acid, bromic acid, or porbromic acid. How about rep replacing the chlorine with a fluorine, another halogen? These are oxo acids. This will become hypofluorous acid, HFO, HFO2 fluorous acid, HFO, HFO3 fluoric acid, HFO4 perfluoric acid. One last one, iodine. Let's replace the 
halogen chlorine with iodine. IO minus, the acid becomes hypoiodous acid. HIO2 becomes iodous acid for the iodide ion. IO3 minus is the iodate ion. HIO3 becomes iodic acid. And then IO4 minus is the per iodate ion. When it picks up an acid, it becomes the per iodic acid. So oxo acids are some halogen with an oxygen attached to them, and they have a somewhat complicated nomenclature. So this is just the tip of the iceberg with regards to acids. You can have arsenic acid and other types of complicated acids. The naming becomes somewhat um, a little bit difficult. One thing you want to remember is it becomes ous and eight becomes ick. And then if you just have the plain halogen, if I can go back here, if you just have the plain halogen, you have to amend it with a prefix of hydro.